Hello LEGO fans, I'm here with another mock, my own creation. And um, you know, whenever I do mocks, I try to imagine what sets could have been uh, sets back in the 80s and 90s, the, for me, golden age of, you know, Lego castle, Lego pirates, uh, city, space, and so on. Um, so this time uh, I came up with a uh, configuration that could have been a set, and this one I call the Quintain. Now, the Quintain, uh, for those interested, um, a Quintain is basically uh, this apparatus right here. Um, which is a stationary target that was used to, uh, you know, uh, practice uh, weapons training, jousting training, um, or, you know, to play war games, whatever. Um, and uh, the inspiration for this kind of set uh, actually came from Playmobil. As you can see, we have a set here. Uh, this is a Playmobil set from, I don't know, uh, 90s something um, and as you can see there's a Quintain there and I had this set as a kid and I remember that this also uh, could turn you know swivel around and I thought hey uh, we don't have that for Lego uh, as least at least not that I'm aware of uh, let me know in the comments whether we actually ever had a set like this but this was the inspiration for this set right here, and I tried to sort of emulate or convert it to Lego. And as you can see, uh, we have a weapons rack in the back, we have the Quintain, and we have some figures and a horse. Um, now again, uh, Lego always, to me, uh, had a tendency to sort of reduce um, to the max, and uh, this is supposed to be a very small set um, that uh, you know is not you know meant as a as a Christmas present or something like that, but something you know um, that uh, kids could buy their friends for a birthday or something like that. So low to low mid range price uh, range here. So that's why I opted for two minifigures. Uh, most Lego sets of this size uh, featured you know two or three minifigures uh, in general, and uh, that's where. I went with. Um, and uh, yeah, some other inspiration for this set came from the uh, Lego Jousting Knights. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> so let's take a look. Um, so first off, uh, the, the main centerpiece, apart from the knight on horseback, of course, is the Quintain itself. And uh, I put this on a rotating uh, plate so that it can rotate. Uh, so the basic idea is, of course, uh, that the knight would hit the target and then has to get out of the way before the sword or whatever you want to clip in here hits the guy in the back. Um, and uh, you can change this for uh, you know anything you see fit from the weapons rack. So you could, could put a spear in there, you could put a halberd in there, uh, whatever. I also put like a, a crossbow here. Um, you could even add like, like a bow and arrow. Uh, I didn't think of that when I made this, but this would also make sense because I put a little target practice um, thing here. Um, now I know that Lego had uh, a special printed piece for that around plate. Um, or tile, uh, more specifically. I don't have it, unfortunately, so I had to improvise, and I think, um, you know, you can recognize that this is meant to represent um, a target. So, um, yeah, again, uh, whenever I'm doing something like this, you know, um, uh, I make do with the pieces that I have, and I improvise, and, you know, since I try to avoid uh, buying any new Lego. Um, sometimes I even, uh, you know, forget that I actually have pieces. So for example, in another review, um, uh, with the, uh, uh, where, where was it? I think the, the stables, I mentioned that, 
uh, I'm lacking a gray helmet. And actually, you know, I found another one in my stash. So sometimes I don't even know which pieces I'm lacking or which pieces I have. So I tend to rediscover some of the things. Um, so anyway, this is the uh, Quintain. Um, it's got a shield right here, um, a lion's crest shield. And I figured that, hey, the main opponents of the uh, Black Knights, um, apart from the Forest Men, uh, were the uh, Lion Knights or the, the, the Crusaders, as they were called. Um, later on, of course, they had other adversaries like the wolf pack, but I thought it was a nice combination um, uh, to, to put these uh, together. Uh, I think there was one set uh, called uh, Justing Tournament where uh, they pitted uh, a black knight with, with a horse blanket um, against uh, a lion knight with a horse blanket, but I'm not sure if I remember that correctly. Let me know in the comments whether... Um, I uh, remember that correctly. But anyway, that's what this is. That's why this is a gray helmet, um, because the Crusaders tended to have um, gray helmets. And of course, the Black Knights uh, tended to have black helmets, um, not always, but generally, you know, the Black Monarch, for example, and they sort of had a more dark uh, color scheme. So that's what I opted for here. So let me, whoops, take, take this guy out. Lost his pants there. I can't feel my legs, oh my God, I can't feel my legs. Don't worry. Um, so he's got a blue torso with the black sleeves. Very cool. And uh, just like in the uh, jousting thing, I sort of uh, stuck the, the flag a little more uh, back to be able to use that as a lance. He's uh, got the black trousers here um, to give him a little more of a menacing look. Uh, let me see whether I can get that right. Okay. And we got one horse. Now, I also put like a squire next to him. And there's a little bit of a special idea here. What I sometimes noticed when looking at old sets, um, what they sometimes did, not always, but sometimes they, you know, suggested that you switch, you know, and combine different colors and, and different armor and, uh, you know, Lego being like, like this construction system. Uh, the system of combination of, of finding new ways. You sometimes, to me, had this suggestion of, hey, switch this around, you know, be it with the army builder sets or, uh, you know, even here, um, that's exactly what they say here. Look at all the exciting toys that this set can build. So in a way, um, you know, you're supposed to, you know, switch flags, switch crests, uh, switch shields, and why not switch torsos as well? So this is really not just two knights, but several knights because you combine them and find new combinations. So this idea I kept in mind when designing this. So in a way, I tried to keep it a little ambiguous. So of course, at first glance, this is a black knight set. You know, the main protagonist here is a black knight. But then you have this squire who looks suspiciously like a crusader, you know, given the color scheme and all. Um, usually you wouldn't find a squire or a soldier like this in, in the Black Knight's uh, set, um, you know. And also he has this typical knight torso plate, um, uh, you know, this armor. So, of course, the main idea would be you can switch this around, you know, you can switch this shield for the dragon shield, you can switch this helmet for the black helmet and suddenly, and you can switch this guy for uh, the black knight and suddenly you have a crusader training jousting against a black knight. So this was a conscious decision to sort of leave it a little bit ambiguous and also to pay homage to this uh, idea that uh, I sometimes saw in a couple of the old sets 
to combine and find new combinations. That's why I also opted to give him a red cape, you get a blue cape, you know, so you get all sorts of combinations that you can try with this set and uh, build your own knights. Gave him a goblet there, um, just for fun's sake, and put a little flower there. We see way too little of these flowers. I, I like them, you know, they, I think, the, the only sets I can think of that, uh, you know, in the in the castle series that had flowers in them were, I think the the jousting tournament and the guarded inn. Um, apart from that, not many flowers in castle sets. That's a shame. Um, they had some trees, you know, um, but rarely any flowers. Because, you know, it was the dark ages, no flowers. So anyway, this is the set, um, comes with a lot of accessories, uh, lots of weapons and two knights and the Quintain. So there you go. Let me know in, uh, in the comments what you think about this. And um, if you could picture this as a set back then, if you have any suggestions for improvement. Um, but yeah, that's it there. One interesting note though, the Quintain, actually the name I read comes from a Roman for fifth. And this was because um, they used sort of like uh, a target practice back in ancient Roman times. And this often uh, was placed between like the fourth and fifth or fifth and sixth uh, maniple, uh, that is a unit uh, of a Roman camp. So it's basically like like a street sign, you know, like it's it's on Fifth Street. Uh, so that's why they called it Fifth, which I thought was very interesting. So that's the history. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this mock and um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great life until we see each other again. Bye bye.